Cancer. Welcome to my channel, The Mother Speaks Tarot. My name is Allison. My channel is still new, so if you haven't already, please consider subscribing. If you've already subscribed or if you subscribe today, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Um, without viewers, I don't have a channel. And a big thanks to everybody who's here, viewers, subscribed or not. I love you all. For those of you who are new and don't know, I'm also an author. I'm writing a series. It's an action-adventure love story on superhero twin flames called Perception, the two yet one. Book one right here, which I've read aloud live on Facebook and uploaded all those videos here to YouTube for you to enjoy for free. Just know that book two is published and available. All the links that you need for my books are in the description box below. Also, if you would like a personal reading, I do offer those. The information to contact me to schedule one is also in the description box. Okay, everybody, so welcome. Welcome back. Please pardon my uh, my voice today. I'm, uh, I've been suffering with some allergies. And not feeling all that uh, not perfect, you know. I still have a sense of humor, but... <laughs> Today I'm going to be using the Light Seer's Tarot uh, by Chris Ann. This is one of the decks that I got uh, for summertime because of this summer, uh, this sun card right here. That's how I feel in the summertime. Also, um, we're going through the, uh, the energies of the Lion's Gate, which is August 8th. And as you may already know, I will be pulling uh, uh, one card from the White Light Oracle by Alana Fairchild with artwork by A. Andrew Gonzalez. It's so beautiful. I got these two together specifically for summertime because of their light. They're all about light. The summer is full of light. Also, this is, um, they're both very modern spirituality, okay? So I just really love these decks. If I need to clarify, I'll use the Tarot of the Cloisters by Michelle Leavitt. Okay, as a reader, I read minor arcana cards as messages about your free will. I read major arcana cards as messages about your divine blueprint. That is the plan that you wrote for your life before you incarnated so that you would encounter and hopefully learn certain important lessons of life that when learned raise the vibration and wisdom encoded in your soul. The free will makes it possible for us to lower in vibration during a lifetime, but if we can manage to rise lifetime after lifetime, we may come to a life where we are what we call enlightened, like Buddha and Jesus and many others. Uh, we know that these people affected a great deal of positive change on our planet, so when I'm looking at your major arcana cards, it is uh, a bit like looking at your fate, but it isn't exactly because of the free will. The free will can change anything. There are times, though, that something um, happens and we can't stop it or we can't get it to happen or it just happens out of the blue. Um, that is fate. We write that into our divine blueprint that way. And uh, those are indicated to me by the Wheel of Fortune card, which you do not have. Okay? So this, um, this deck doesn't have reversed meanings. However, I'm reading it as... I'm, I'm just doing this intuitively here. So... At the heart of everything for you at this time, Cancer, this is you. Um, you're feeling pretty, uh, pretty darn good, okay? Um, this is you uh, in a very high power of mastery over your emotions. You're feeling, um, I'm just feeling you're emotionally mature, um, confident, um, you, you are just really feeling pretty good about yourself, I, I'm thinking, okay? You, what am I getting from this? You might be meditating a lot, going with the flow, okay. Alrighty, Cancer, so the, um, the energy that's crossing that is the Page of Wands. It's just so interesting to me that the Page of Wands is the, was in the exact same place for Pisces reading that I just did. Okay, So what this is, is uh, you're just feeling um, determined. You're feeling 
enthusiastic, you're just, uh, your will is strong, okay? You're feeling um, a childlike joy for life. It's, it's either that or right now you may be visiting with a young um, friend because pages are usually children or teenagers. This may just be someone who has a childlike personality, okay? Um, but I kind of feel like this is you being determined to be happy. You may have found your childlike passion for life recently, and it's what has been bringing you this balance, at, you know, like at your maximum energy, uh, 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 chilling. I just heard chilling. You've been chilling? Um, <laughs> <laughs> that's cute uh, yeah you're just really determined here and I just feel you know um, in Pisces this this wand which is you know fire is also spirit so I just feel like this is your uh, spiritual path that you are determined to master yourself your own energy now this is what's at the root of all this okay you got the King of Wands here in the reverse. So there's this fire energy here that has um, been bugging you, okay? I mean, this could be another person, but I'm just feeling like maybe you've been feeling impatient. Maybe your, your temper has been um, a little short, you know? You may have been a little too serious. And maybe this is just kind of how... Um, You were, you were feeling and you were able to identify how that was bringing you, um, well, you just weren't as happy. This could also be a totally different person. This could be your father. Okay, your father was like this. And that's why this is at the root of everything. You're like, um, this is me, this is my dad, and this is me. <laughs> if this is not your father, this could be a boss. This could be a friend, somebody that's your same age, somebody who is not as mature as you are, okay? And I'm sorry, I just keep seeing this lion here. Um... Don't argue with this person during Lionsgate. <laughs> now, here is the energy that's in your recent past that's moving out of your life at this time, and this is the Sun card. Leo is, Leo's ruler is the Sun, so there's another connection to Leo I'm just going to mention. You know, um, sometimes people, let me just show you the Sun, look at that. Ever since I was a little girl, that's how summertime made me feel and I would I do I raise my hands and dance and spin around I just love the sun and the downloads that come from it so this is like pure joy and in some decks and other readers will see the sun as not being happy but to me the sun is a magical card that um, no matter which way it is, it represents happiness. And its presence in a reading makes everything, anything that looked negative in there, just not as bad as it could be. So I just love this card. There's a rainbow of color in this too. It's so lovely. So I feel like you were um, happy, but not as happy as you could be. You weren't happy like she is. This is what you wanted. And this is where you're heading. This is the energy, this joy of dancing in the sun. Um, just look at the similarities between that. This is what you're after. This is what you want. Pure joy. Dancing for joy. Feeling like a child inside. Children, um, baby animals, you know, they seem to really, um, they just love being alive. See, that's why we say this is a childlike joy for life because it's, we see that joy for life more with the little babies. 
and we we tend to get jaded and lose it or we're raised by people that are cranky you know and then we don't then we have to go back to the child to bring that joy back out for me as a reader these two cards are future cards and what we have here um so in the future you've got the star this is all your hopes and dreams coming true this this is you um like if you are a musician or in the entertainment industry this is you becoming a star maybe you know hitting it big look at how she's got this star like on a string it just reminds me of the sun card with the the the, the downloads the star is talking to you but this isn't just all your hopes and dreams coming true this can be a very optimistic outlook okay this could also be you getting um, a windfall of money. You might get a bunch of money. And I see this card, card here. <clears throat> Pardon me. I'm so sorry. Um, this is, you know, inspiration, bright prospects, okay? Optimism. Um, this, this is a really great card, you know? So I think that this energy is going to carry you far. And now, you know, what we've got here is the... Um, the four of pentacles in the reverse this is often called the miser card you see how she's holding on she's holding back you know this could be you just not holding back anymore you see what i'm saying um but sometimes this is um the same as this still holding back okay um sometimes this will mean um a bit of suspense but I think that it, especially if you did say get a windfall here um, you would probably be holding on to that just don't be stingy don't be overprotective of your possessions and or emotions um, of your of your love um, because that is not this see what I'm saying look at the difference okay they're just sitting there you know so if this turns out to be like a little bit of money or something you know she's not she's not jumping for joy like this but um just remember that this is what you want. So if you're going to be in this energy, just be really, really, really grateful, okay? Celebrate. Dance. Be joyful. A wish come true. Now, um... I don't know what's up with that. This is your hope card here, Cancer. And nobody hopes for worries. Nobody hopes for sleepless nights. Nobody hopes for sadness, despair. So, Allison is going to clarify that. So, Tarot of the Cloisters is always pre-shuffled because... My on-camera shuffle, shuffling is um, a bit hard to watch. <laughs> See, I can shuffle these really well because they're round and small. Uh-oh. I put that one in the wrong way. That's not your card. All right. Okay, there's one, two. Let's see what we have here. Two of Pentacles, going back and forth, Eight of Vessels, okay, so, um, hmm, you are going, you've been going back and forth about something, okay, there's something that you haven't been able to make up your mind about, 
and it, it's been worrying you and so I think that you want to move on you're hoping that you'll be able to find a way to move on from this this is um, what the the reason you got this card is because um, the spirit guides my spirit guides your spirit guides knew I was gonna pull these okay so what you are hoping for is to get rid of this worry is to get rid of these sleepless nights to actually make a decision or maybe somebody else makes a decision and if something finally happens okay because you're waiting for your ships to come in wow i was going to say that why didn't i look at this there's a ship off in the distance you know and i was gonna say you're waiting for your ship to come in but that's normally the three of wands there's the three of wands okay she's um she's waiting for the perfect wave once she sees that those waves are starting because look at them they're not really waving they're really small and just kind of ripply so she's waiting for the big ones to come in she's going to run out there and she is going to experience life with this type of joy okay so um you you have been manifesting and you're waiting for this to come on in well guess what it is that's coming on in I don't know but it just doesn't feel like you're going to be as grateful as maybe you should be you might be like oh well that's that's good it's not exactly what I wanted or it's one of my wishes it's not my biggest wish because this is holding on not moving on holding on all righty here's your fear it's the page of Pentacles in the reverse all right so this is like uh, getting some bad news about your finances this can be lack of self-confidence this can be insecurity so this makes a uh, a pretty good fear card okay but you know this whole lack of confidence man that's just kind of what this looks like this is not the most exciting star card I've seen she just looks like yeah it's okay I'm chill it's all right Yep, these are my stars. I'm still dreaming about them. I don't know. I just don't. So, yeah, I think that you may be um, afraid that you're going to lack some confidence. You may get insecure. You're also afraid you're going to get some bad news about your finances because you're already, and we can see that here, um, maybe you know you're going to because there you are hanging on your money and then here we've got the potential outcome is the queen of pentacles but in the reverse so this is not really see the queen of pentacles has a handle on her health and wealth she's got all the money she needs she is very healthy she's got everything in her earthly life down that's why she looks so content and happy when she is in the reverse this is an insecure person this is someone who's distrustful and materialistic, but definitely insecure. This can be a social climber. But as far as your energy goes, you're starting out here with these masculine energies. So maybe the, this uh, feminine energy isn't you. This could be somebody that... Uh, I don't see really anyone else here. I don't know. This could be somebody who takes some of your money or, or maybe this is just you feeling like you're just not this and you're just insecure. 
because like I was saying over here with this hope card you're hoping to move on right waiting for that ship to come in so that you can move on actually you know you um, when you're taking a trip over the sea you're, the ship that's going to take you has to come in to port first, right? Before you can leave. And that's what's the underlying energy of this entire read is that you, here we've got the Eight of Cups again. You see what I'm saying? It doesn't look the same. This is the Eight, eight of Cups. You want to move on. But you haven't. This is the underlying energy of this entire read. All right. Let's get your card from the White Oracle Light Deck. And I'll close out your reading. Please don't forget to like. Please know that I don't always sound like this. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Snorted. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> oh dear. All right. Which card wants to come up? Wants to pull this all together for Cancer. That's what these cards have been doing, yo. Oh wow. Beatitude of Sacred Rapture. Holy moly, that sounds freaking awesome. Look at there's two people in here. 29, 2 plus 9 equals 11. 11 equals 2. All right, 29. All right. So before I start reading this, I'm just going to go ahead and read this italicized part here of Ishtar's Lionsgate, because everybody has that card this week. Your heart has a heightened connection with the higher realms of consciousness and light. <laughs> a blessing and power. I'm sorry, I'm laughing because my, I said light, and I'm like, light. <laughs> okay. A blessing, empowerment, and positive omen shall enter your world. Doors will open for you. Abundance and prosperity are headed your way. Take care of your heart. Ask for spiritual assistance and it shall be granted. Something negative is going to transform into something very positive. Yay. All right. The Beatitude of Sacred Rapture. Let's change our attitude to Beatitude. <laughs> Get the beatitude attitude. Let your true self be seen. Search for the deeper spiritual purpose and opportunity for healing beneath conflict and suffering. If you have been in pain, this oracle brings a message of a joyful breakthrough. Your soul is growing stronger, more able to have faith in wisdom than in judgment or doubt. Commit to your spiritual path and know you are making progress, even if things seem more difficult for a time. Know that any such difficulty is part of your healing and that you will successfully move through it. Trust yourself. Yeah. To feel that you are fully seen, loved, and recognized for who you are honors your true self. To be witness, witnessed in such a state, truly be held in all of your uniqueness, quirkiness, vulnerability, and strength is deeply empowering. This is how spirit sees you. So when you connect with spirit, you learn to love yourself and others unconditionally and become generous with your forgiveness. You are also less likely to be hoodwinked by ego. You start to see yourself and others at the soul level. So this is talking, okay, this is talking about you can be generous with your forgiveness. Okay, so when I read that, I was just thinking about this. Like this could be a father energy or a boss energy. Someone that probably um, 
could use some of your forgiveness. You also may want to forgive yourself because you do want to be moving on from whatever you've been dealing with here. When we are beheld, the need to behold arises. We need to bear witness to the sacred to acknowledge what is true, which means cutting through the fog of illusion, deception, and confusion with the clarifying knife of higher perception. There is quantum power in pure vision. It empowers the viewer and also that which is viewed. Seeing from a position of inner spiritual truth, we look below the surface, which has alchemical potency to set healing in motion. What vision of yourself or others do you either cling to or free yourself from? How might your choice either encourage or impede soul awakening? When life is tough, you can admire the courage it takes to grow. There is a compliment inherent in being allotted life lessons. If something big has shown up on someone's path, then the universe is basically saying that they are enough of a spiritual badass to deal with it. <laughs> <laughs> right? Right? If you are going through some shit, just know that spirit is like, you know you can handle it. You, you probably gave it to yourself. You're like, I can do this. Heck yeah, I can. Um... Wait a minute, what? What, what, what? I, lo I lost my place, guys. Same from as this. I'm just trying to know. I'm not going to know if I Oh, when life is tough, you can admire their courage. Okay, there it is. There it is. Sorry. There is a compliment inherent in being allotted life changes. Oh, right. If something big is shown up in someone's path, then the universe is basically saying that they are enough of a spiritual badass to deal with it. It's a vote of divine confidence. If you or another are battling something, you can choose to feel awe and respect rather than fear and despair. Wow. Rapture is a state of intensely pleasurable joy that lifts one into communion with the sublime and the sacred. It is not only a personal experience, but also a transfusion of divine delight into the collective soul of humanity. This is the kind of joy that is generous, soulful, without reason or agenda, and delightfully contagious. It is a wake-up call. It shifts any stubborn clinging to negativity. It refreshes the soul and nourishes the heart. It reminds us that everything is okay. Rapture is the astonishment, the sudden intake of breath, in response to an inner realization of something beautiful and beyond description. It tears us out of our misery and despair and plugs us into an electrical current of enlightenment. The darkness is cleared in an instant. Wow. A beatitude is a blessing, the highest blessing. The oracle of beatitude of sacred rapture brings guidance that the beautiful healing truth of spirit is your reality. All else is a nightmarish misuse of imagination by the ego. When you sense spirit at work in your life, totally trustworthy and having your back, you are seeing clearly. When your hopeful heart feels empowered, you are in a zone of truth. You know what? I got to stop there for a second, guys, because it's talking about this joyfulness that's right there. And it says, when you sense spirit at work in your life, totally trustworthy and having your back, you are seeing clearly. I don't know if I mentioned this, but the Page of, of Wands is a loyal friend. So now I'm feeling like this is spirit energy. This is spirit energy itself. Spirit is working with you this way. To bring you this. Heck yeah. Okay, so when the hopeful heart feels empowered, you are in a zone of truth. Trust in those moments. Recall them whenever you can. Count all your positive moments and wins, no matter how inconsequential they may appear. Every one of them is a precious drop of divine nectar nourishing your heart. Allow yourself to see and be seen. 
And remember that even in the tremors, trials, and tribulations of human life, you are a radiant soul who is growing ever more luminous through the wisdom, compassion, and strength distilled through those experiences. Look for the light beneath all phenomena, and you know the peace and love, and you shall know the peace and love that is with all beings always. Yep, this is it. This is spirit. This is spirit. Remember this. Joy. Joy. This is what spirit is. This is what spirit wants you to feel. This is what spirit wants you to feel when your hopes and dreams come true. This is what spirit wants you to feel when you go through your trials and tribulations as well, because you are a spiritual badass. Okay? Holy moly. All right, Cancer, that was an awesome reading. Let's, oh wow, I made a big old mess of these cards. You know what, though? Um, the only card that you have that is a major arcana is the sun card. And this means that anything that you see here that's negative, like this whole, um, you might get a message about your finances. It's, it's not going to be as bad as you think. Mm -mm. In fact, spirit is bringing you that right there, that energy. All right, Cancer, I hope you enjoyed your reading. That's what I have for you. See you next time.